Fire Force Chapter 190, The Mighty One. Fool! Excalibur. Okay. I've never seen this guy before. In front of Dragon, Arthur's new power is shining. As I thought, this dragon is an incredible dragon. This dragon is your average dragon. Defend against my breath, I see. Blazed up. Is that a plasma mantle? Ooh. I'm going to be and become a dragon slayer. He's rushing in. Bam. Cuts him. Blood coming out of his nose. Huh? Again. He's getting injured whenever he goes up to attack. So weak. Hurt by a little scale. Dragon scale. Like. Harden his skin? When he cut against him, it's. I can't clearly see from far. But those scales. They almost seem like the body of Inferno. Those dragon scales are pretty terrifying. Snap. Whoa. Around some claws? You did well for a human. Boom! Hits him. Some flying? Okay. That arm. It's as I thought. Just like Inferno. Getting darker and more durable. Victor goes over him. Arthur, are you okay? Put yourself together. You were on the right track when you were strengthening your abilities via your self-image. However, you still haven't grasped the power of Adala. What? With only one of the powers, you'll never win against me. Wait, there's more? And he's transforming more? He has spikes on his back? He's making his own body infernalized at will. Impossible. That can't be. So he's like half? We switched to Special Fire Force Combine 5. Captain's reading a book. Talk Infernos. My motto. Demons. And now Doppelgangers. Takes off glasses. How are these investigations tied together? Same raffle convent. Oh. The convent that Iris and I grew up in must have been involved in some kind of experiments. The sisters burned because of an artificially caused fire. And this has to be in some way related to the doppelgangers. Ooh. Fat ironlings. The captains confined herself for quite a bit. Seems it's because after Dr. Viani's disappearance, she obtained the third's piles. Still, she's oddly preservant this time round. Hmm. The doppelgangers. According to Conroe's story, uh, it's almost as if a demon that was a mirror of himself came from Adola. And this demon tried to kill the real body in order to impersonate it. If you compare the demons to an ignition ability, the infernals could be considered humans that fell to awaken ability. Could that mean spontaneous human combustion and the doppelgangers have some connection to each other? If we ascertain the truth behind the doppelgangers, we might be able to solve the truth behind spontaneous human combustion. And I'll get up. Get back, Falcon. Ah, be careful. This man named Dragon. He's more powerful than expected. Still, with his properties, Arthur's true power can also come to light. So Arthur's gonna get beefed up even more. That man, he's strong. He's now a normal human. Then all the more Arthur's self-image will deepen. And his powers get stronger. Scatter, human. Keep it up. He's the dragon you've been searching for. You can do this, Arthur. He'll be fine. I've never seen Arthur get this serious. At last, he used it. Extreme dragonic pressure. Making the outer dragon possess the inner dragon. Dragon co ornate. This is the first time seeing it with my own eyes. Sparking up. It, it appears he's accumulated a considerable amount of dragonic experience. He stands up. Okay, he's walking towards. It had been bad if I didn't find the sword and mantle in a crater. What crater, kid? Your, uh, your riddles of a crater mean nothing to me. 
Oh, Dragon Killing Holy Sword. Boost up. Doom in, Arthur. You're the Night King. Do your best, Night King. Oop. The Holy Blow, which destroys dragons. It's going in. Excalibur. Slashes at him. And. Wait, what? It breaks? Excalibur shattered. What? Okay. Is he gonna like. I don't know. Is he gonna be able to like. Will a sword? Like. I don't know. Out of thin air? Because technically that was like a catalyst. Like the hilt. But like. I. I. Is, if it's just gonna break. Like that. Um. Or does like. Liquor Vulcan. Have like. Something he can use. To like channel it. Channel the Excalibur through it. Man. So the next chapter is called The Pioneers and the Next Generation. Hmm. So we might get a flashback. Okay, let's review. So we've seen the image of a dragon. We see his mantle, plasma. Maybe Arthur gets like a full like suit of armor surrounded by plasma. So he goes in and like when he slashes when the scales hits him. Man. So it's like hard in his body. I'm wondering if he's like part Inferno himself. They didn't say he was a pillar, right? He just sends Arthur flying. Transforming. Man. How are they gonna like dispose this guy? He's making his own body infernalized at will. Okay. Get the fifth captain looking at the research. Connecting to the convent that she grew up in. Did the sisters know? That they were experimenting? Or was there like... I don't think they would know that they were experimenting because like almost everyone like spontaneously combusted. Except uh, her and Iris. Man. And like her underlings are like commented that she locked herself in there. To study? And then we switched back to Arthur, getting back up. Okay. Has this vision of the dragon. Dragon core coordinate. And there's a little note. The way coordinate was written here can be in reference to an out outfit. Okay. So the pun here may be like the inner dragon is wearing the outer dragon sort of thing. Okay. Because of scale, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I think he's, his mantle's like flowing the wind. Accumulate a considerable amount of dragon experience. And he's beefing up his sword. And that's when he's going in. And it breaks. So he's like. Fully like transformed at this point. Kind of look like. He's. No that's probably like the ripples like the air. It kind of looks like he's slashing at the. At the wings. But the fact like. Excalibur broke. Means he's gonna have to like get another new legendary sword. Or 
or he's going to come to possess the ability to, to out thin air, um, summon a blade, fire. Maybe even like a suit of armor. Huh. Well, um, there's that, uh, this chapter. Um, good chapter. Um, what can I say? You might begin like a flashback. Because the pioneers and the next generation. Hmm. Or we switch to somewhere else, probably. I wouldn't mind staying with Arthur for a little bit more until, like, he actually defeats Dragon. Hmm. There has to be some way. Or a combo attack. Although he's, like, infernalizing his own body. Can they do? Has to be some way to weaken it. Well, um, yeah. Weird thoughts. Um, if you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.